Good morning, family. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Good morning. For those of you who may not know, I am Pastor Carolyn, pastor and purpose pusher of Tears Breakthrough Ministries and Conference, and the founder and owner of Queendom Purpose Academy and Lounge. So come on in the room. This is your morning wake-up call, and this is your Tears to Breakthrough moment. So I want to take a moment to just encourage you and build you up and edify you this morning um, and give you a quick word from on high. Um, as you know, we write the word here. We journal here. I'm big on journaling. This ministry is big on journaling and writing. So we write the word out. Um, and so today um, we're writing out and meditating on um, Isaiah. <laughs> okay. Um, but before I go there, I want to because um, it's Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, we wear the word and I have an apparel line. Many of you are aware that I have an apparel line with my granddaughter, Layla. Well, I have actually have a shop and travel for a cause business that's named after my granddaughter, Layla. And in that business includes apparel. So today I am rocking my Y'all Need Jesus flannel plaid long sleeve shirt okay y'all need jesus so say that with me say y'all need jesus <laughs> right <laughs> y'all need jesus but the truth is we all need jesus amen so listen so i'm wearing my blue flannel long sleeve um shirt and it says y'all need jesus and i'm gonna place the link in the comment section where you can place your order so you can support the cause. And the cause is women in crisis. We support nonprofits that support women in crisis, um, breast cancer awareness and research projects and some youth related nonprofits. And so each time you purchase apparel from us, when I say us, I'm talking about my granddaughter, Layla and I, the business is named after my Layla, my granddaughter, my teenage granddaughter. Um, so anytime you purchase apparel, anytime you purchase books, because we're both authors, anytime you um, book a workshop, a class, travel, whatever you do, in whichever way you support us, you help us to fund those kingdom projects and help a woman in crisis. Amen. So I want to show you the red, because the red is actually my favorite color. And I think we've been showing these um, for the past couple of winters, past couple of years, and the red is like the most popular. Okay, so this is the red. Um, and if you can see it, it says, y'all need a Jesus. If you can see that. Y'all need Jesus. Yes, we all need Jesus. <laughs> yes. So, and then um, long sleeves, of course. Nice, warm, soft fabric. Nice, warm, and soft. I mean, I don't know where you are. I'm in Pennsylvania, and it is cold in these streets, okay? And so on this side, it's, it's uh, lit. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, and the sizes starts from, starts at size small and runs to, so from size small to 3X. Okay, so again, I'm going to place the link below and all you have to do is click and order to help me fund the cause in my kingdom projects. Amen. So now let's get started with this word that God gave me, um, short and sweet. Okay, um, we've been meditating this morning on Isaiah. And well, before I do that, let me go to what I posted in our private Facebook community this morning. We do, for those of you who may not know, we do have a private Facebook community. And so we, we post a video, we post anything that's edifying and that's gonna build up and encourage, we post every day. And so this is what I posted this morning because this is what God dropped in my spirit this morning, that it is time to level up. God wants to level us up, but many of us, okay, God, because God, when I minister to you, know that I'm also ministering to myself because God showed me this, that some of us are like real comfortable in 
our space. We, we're comfortable in that comfort zone and God wants to level us up. He wants to take you to the next level, but because you're, you've gotten so comfortable, he can't move you to the next level because you're in your comfort zone. You're allowing people, places, and things to stop you from growing and going to the places where God is calling you to go and grow. So you need to grow first in order to go. So sometimes that means that you might have to leave some people behind for a season anyway, right? So this is what I posted this morning. Her transition will make no sense to those who are not a part of her next level. Now I'm gonna take out her and say your, okay? Your transition will make no sense to those who are not a part of your next level. God wants to level you up this morning. He wants to take you to the next level, but you have to step out on faith. You have to come out of your comfort zone. You've just been too comfortable for too long and that's going to mean that some people are, 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 are going to have to be left behind because, you know, one of the things we do in Tears to Breakthrough Ministries and, and Queen of Purpose Academy is actually an extension of Tears to Breakthrough Ministries. And we believe in healing. We believe in wholeness and healing. And we understand that healing is a lifelong process. And so each day we work, we wake up, we're intentional about our healing process. We're intentional about those wounds, right? And those open wounds, right? And so healing those open wounds, right? Not just putting a band-aid over the open wound, right? So some people don't want to heal. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Some people don't want to heal. They're very comfortable where they are. And, they, and because they don't want to heal and they don't want to grow, they don't want you to heal. And they don't want you to grow. And so some people are intentional about holding you back. And God is saying today, I need for you to level up because I'm taking you somewhere. Say, say, I'm, say God is saying to you this morning, I need for you to level up. Your transition will make no sense to those who are not a part of your next level. Who am I speaking to this morning? If, if that resonates with you, Take it, take hold of it. I want you to take hold of everything I, I say to you today and make it your own because I don't believe that you're here by chance. I don't believe in, this is not a happenstance type of situation. You're here because God led you to watch this video because he had a word for you. And I need you to take it and make it your own. Take hold of it, okay? And make the necessary adjustments, amen? Amen. So yes, God wants you to level up, but you gotta come out of your comfort zone. See, I need to come out of my comfort zone. And so today we're going to be in Isaiah 41. And my focus uh, uh, passage is actually Isaiah 41, 10. But I'm going to actually read Isaiah 41, 10 down to 12. Okay? So grab your journal because we are journaling we're right we write the word journal 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 it out pray it out meditate on it okay and so while i'm even reading it allow the holy spirit to open your heart and mind to receive it and take notes on what holy spirit is saying to you and revealing to you through this word okay so let me just read it now let me just say this also this is, um, what I'm about to read is God's help to Israel. God's help to Israel. However, okay, God is no respecter of persons. Say God is no respecter of persons. And I received, when God gave me this word this morning, I said, listen, Lord, I received this word for me, for myself. I'm taking a hold of it for myself. So yes, God, this, this, this is God's help to Israel, but this is also God's help to whoever receives it. So say, I receive your word today, Lord God. Say, I believe it and I receive it. Amen. So you have to believe it in, in order to receive it. Amen. You have to take hold of it and make it your own. Okay. So I'm just going to start reading. It says, do not fear, but I am with you. 
do not be afraid for I am your God. Now I'm going to stop right there for a sec because some of you are so fearful. Some of you are so afraid, you know, and God is not a part of that. You know, scripture says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It's a well-disciplined mind. So therefore, fear, that tells us that fear is a spirit and that spirit, I think we just talked about this a few weeks ago, that spirit is not one that comes from God. So many of you are fearful. Many of you are afraid. And some of that fear, some of that um, anxiety that you're feeling is rooted in things that people told you even way back when you were a child, that you weren't good enough, that you weren't going to be enough, that, you know, nothing that you ever did felt like it was enough. Well, God wants to do something new in your life in this season, right? But you have to step out on faith. You have to come out of that fear. So right now, I just come against that spirit of fear that has been paralyzing you. Some of you have been paralyzed with the spirit of fear. I come against that spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of fear. I come against the spirit of doubt. And I speak courage, right? I speak confidence over you this morning, right? And, and, and faith in God. We have to have faith in God. Say, I have faith in God. And we have to trust the process. Trust the process. Say, I will trust the process. And so this is what God is saying to you this morning. And take this word as your own, okay? I'm not here just saying it just to be saying it. No, I'm saying it because you need to hear it. And guess what? I needed to hear it. So God is saying to you this morning, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will surely help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. And then verse 11 says, behold, all who rage against you will be ashamed and disgraced. Those who contend with you will be reduced to nothing and will be and will perish. Verse 12 says, you will seek them, but will not find them. Those who wage war against you will come to nothing. So that's Isaiah 41. And I read verses uh, 10 through 12. But I want to focus on verse 10. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. God is saying today, do not fear. Do not be afraid. He's saying today, I got you. I've got your back. I see you. I see that, you know, you've been trying to get that promotion on your job and they've been holding you back. The haters and the naysayers, right? They've been coming up against you. God says, I see you, but fear not. You are good enough. You are good enough. Say, say I am good enough. I am good enough. Say, you, you are no less than anybody else. You're no less than, that's something my daddy used to always tell me, you know, he says, daughter, you're no better than anyone else, but know that you're no worse than anyone else, right? You, you, you know, so don't, don't th compare yourself to others and think that maybe because they have a college degree and you don't have one, um, or they may have some other um, credentials that you don't have, but it's okay because guess what? God still can use you. He, and he wants to use you. He has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. Amen. So I want to read, I want to read the Amplified Translation of Isaiah 41.10. Let me find my Amplified Translation. So this is, this is what the Amplified Translation says. And I just need you to receive this this, this morning. Okay. I'm getting kind of overheated with this uh, flannel shirt on. <laughs> I turned the heat on right before I um, came on. So... If I seem a little restless, that's why. <laughs> very warm, very soft, yes. Okay, so this is the Amplified Translation. It says, do not fear anything. Do not fear anything. And when I say we meditate on this word, that means we repeat it over and over and over again until we get it in our spirit. Do not fear anything. This is God talking to you this morning. Do not fear anything.
for I am with you. Do not be afraid, God is saying this morning, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured, God is saying, I will help you. God is your help this morning. God says, I will help you. I will help you. So God will strengthen you. And, and God says, I assure you, I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand, God is saying, a hand of justice, <laughs> hallelujah, a hand of power, a hand of victory, a hand of salvation, amen. Let's meditate on this word. Take it, make it your own this morning. Make this word your own. Whatever has been holding you back, whatever you have been uh, uh, fearful of, what, whatever has been causing you anxiety, what, whatever has been holding you back, whatever person, place, or thing that's been holding you back and keeping you bound and, and not allowing you to move forward in the things of God and, and the places where God wants to take you, whatever is holding you back from growing in the things of God, listen, God says, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Do not fear anything, for I am with you. Hallelujah. Now let's just pray that. Father God, we thank you, Lord. That, that we don't have to fear anything, Lord, because you are with us, Lord God. And so we thank you for being with us, Lord God. And we do not have to fear anything, Lord God. We do not have to be afraid, Lord God. Hallelujah. Because you are our God and we are your people. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you are strengthening us even in our time of weakness, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that you have assured us that you will help us, that you are our very present help in times of trouble, Lord God. You are our helper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being our helper this morning. Hallelujah. You will certainly take hold, hallelujah, with your righteous hand, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah, your hand of justice, Lord God. It may not seem like there's been justice, but your hand, hallelujah, is a hand of justice, Lord God. Your hand is a hand of power, Lord God. Your hand is a hand of victory. Your hand is a hand of salvation. And we declare victory today, Lord God, over every negative circumstance, over everything that's been holding us down, holding, holding us back, keeping us bound, Lord God, keeping us down at that low place, Lord God. You want us to come up in this season, Lord God. You want us to level up in this season, Lord God. And we do understand that in this season, Lord God, as we level up, Lord God, there are some people that we can't not take with us. There are going to be some people, Lord God, that are not going to understand why we are doing the things we're doing, why we are moving the way we're moving, because we are growing in you. We are on a mission. We are about our Father's business. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God that you are with us, that you are our help, hallelujah, that you are our very present help in times of trouble, that we can look to the hills from what's coming for our help, Lord God, knowing that our help comes from you. So we thank you, Lord, and we praise you. Father God, I declare and decree that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you are we don't have to worry about getting back at anybody because you said vengeance is yours, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that vengeance is yours. We can rest in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are our justice. Hallelujah. You are our justice this morning, Lord. And so we don't have to fear. We don't have to be afraid. Hallelujah. We don't have to stay in that low place any longer. We can grow up. We can move up. We're leveling up in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. No, ha, thank you, Lord. No limits, no boundaries. Hallelujah. 
We're going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think, Lord God, according to the power that you've already placed on the inside of us, Lord God. Yes, Father, we just thank you this morning. Hallelujah, Lord. And we believe and receive this message. We take it as our own, Lord God. Just begin to take it. Say, I take it as my own. We're taking hold of this message this morning, Lord God. And we're making it our own. We're applying it to our own lives, Lord God. We're receiving it on a personal level, Lord God. Yes, God. And for those who have never accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, just say this with me. Say, Lord God, I have sinned. Forgive me for I have sinned. I have fallen short. Forgive me. I want to make you, Lord, Lord over my life. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me and he rose for me. And when he rose for me on the third day, he rose with all power in his hands. And because you rose, Jesus, I took the rise above. Hallelujah. All of my circumstances, all of my situations that's been set in place to hold me back and keep me down and keep me bound. I can rise above. And I promise you, Jesus, that I will spend the rest of my life serving you to the best of my ability. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you've said those words, welcome to the kingdom of God. You are now the kingdom citizen. So we are kingdom queens and kings. Hallelujah. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. We understand that our citizenship is in heaven. And so we also move differently in this world. We're not moved by the systems and the the, 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 the ways of this world. No, we're not. We're not moved because, you know, there, there's a, there's a, a pandemic or, or inflation or, or whatever. We are not moved by those things. Amen. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. Queens from the King, from Queendom Purpose Academy, you know how we roll. We understand our purpose. We understand our role. Hallelujah. You know how we roll. <laughs> Women of God, kingdom women, the, the rule is simple. We know our purpose. We operate in our purpose. We are, we're not bound to our past. We're not bound to our past hurts. We're not bound to our past mistakes. We are not. We are overcomers. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So welcome to the kingdom of God. Amen, amen, amen. And I just want to end with this third John blessing. I pray that this has blessed you. Amen. I declare and decree third John blessing over you. I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our soul prospers in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Believe it and receive it today. Meditate on this word today in Isaiah. Receive it as your own. You do not have to fear. You do not have to be afraid. Hallelujah. Before I close out, I'm just going to read Amplified one more time. Let me find it. Here it is. Do not fear anything. God is saying, remember God speaking to you, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured, I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand, a hand of justice, a hand of power, a hand of victory, and a hand of salvation. Believe it and receive it today. Be encouraged, family, and not discouraged. This is Pastor Carolyn signing off. You have a blessed and marvelous day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. You have a good one. No more fear. No, say no more fear. God's got your back. He wants to level you up. No more staying stagnant. No more staying, getting comfortable. You, so, some of you are just too comfortable. It's time to come out of that comfort zone. You've been there too long. Step out on faith. Level up. And remember, as you're going to the next level, as you're, as, as you're going through that transition, there are going to be some people that are not going to be able to go with you. They're not equipped. They don't have the capacity to handle where God is about to take you. Right? It may sound harsh to some of you, but it is the truth. It's only the truth that you know that will make you free. God wants to set you free today. Amen. God bless. I'll see you next time. You have a blessed and marvelous day. Bye-bye.